guys. Uh, Nate from RichardsGuitarStudio.com. I'm going to go over the song uh, Symphony of Destruction uh, by Megadeth. So here's part A, and then I'll talk about how to play it. Alright, so that's part A. Uh, one thing that they do throughout the song is they play um, on the end of three. That's where they start their riffs. So if you're counting the eighth notes, one and two and three. And four and three. Like that. So one and two and three. I do that throughout the song. That's something important uh, for you to practice doing that, um, especially in, in the next section, letter B. Uh, in uh, letter A, we have two rests uh, that surround the E5 chords like this. You want to really cut that off. I use both hands. All right. Make a real tight rhythm there. So without those rests, it doesn't sound as heavy. All right. Um, okay, so letter B. Again, you're starting on the end of three. It sounds like this. One, two, three. To, to navigate through because of the, the harmonies and because it doesn't start on beat one and sometimes it's hard to figure out when you're supposed to stop playing this riff. Um, <clears throat> so it goes through six times. I'll play that for you. One, two, three. six times and then I jump down to measure nine. Now if you prefer to play the, the optional harmonies, uh, measure seven, um, that is the second and third time um, before the, the next harmony comes in. So, so if I play uh, measure seven, it sounds like this. Like that. Now that continues through and then there's another harmony uh, added on top of that, and that's a uh, measure eight, and that goes three times. So that would be the uh, fourth, fifth, and sixth uh, repetition. So um, that one sounds like this. Like that. So if I did uh, this part with the harmonies, if I did the whole letter B with the harmonies, it would sound like this. One time on measure six, two times on measure seven, and three times on measure eight. So measure nine sounds like this. So again. Alright, so that's a really, really tough part as far as the rhythm is concerned. So if we go to uh, letter C, this is the chorus. And I'll start on measure nine and show you how it, you kind of move into the chorus. and then uh, whenever you come back to the chorus later in the song, uh, it's extended, and I'll show you that in a minute. So you start the uh, low E open, and then you're going to let these chords ring together. And then pop. 
Richards at richardsguitarstudio.com. Have fun with this one. 